something my people will see when I'm on the stage that they may take for me. So what I can say, uh, Davido is a very hardworking person. And one thing that I have learned from him is that uh, get out of your comfort zone and, and challenge yourself to do things that you can believe in. Because I remember some of his stories that he would tell from the, the back end of the year that not do this and this, but he went out, did what he loved, and here we are right now uh, talking about him. So I think, uh, Hard work, discipline, getting out of your comfort zone. Yeah. And then for the ladies, I noticed some of your music has an influence of Arabian dance, like this song that I'm doing with the
Um, to any single person who's entering the industry for the first time is number one, don't listen to anybody who you wouldn't want to be like because everyone has an opinion of how you should do things. Different people will tell you that the industry is oversaturated, but I believe that there's enough room for every single person to shine, there's enough room for every single person to succeed, and there's something absolutely unique about you that will definitely carve out a niche for you in the industry. And to you, Kalisa, I see you are really, really dope, so. <laughs> you definitely have something in you that is absolutely amazing. So um, trust this task, trust the uniqueness that you have in yourself. And what we're gonna go, drag it here, show you how. Where you are yourself, exactly the way you are, unapologetically. And if you're persistent about it, you'll definitely break those boundaries and um, conquer every single thing that um, you didn't think you were going to conquer. I mean, I'm a Gen Z and here I am, a Trahafas, so. There's nothing impossible, and just so you know, on Saturday we are killing it, so you better be ready. Before, before Aziza, you hand over the mic. Uh, you are, you are I'm seeing different artists that uh, everyone is watching the entire Africa. Yes. How does that make you feel? And what do we expect? You said we expect a lot, but what, yeah. is, the, what is this entirely do we expect from yourself? Um, for all of this, every single person on the lineup is an amazing performer. And the fact that we have a wide variety of artists, both in the 254 and outside the 254, you expect a lot of diversity in performance. There are a lot of artists who are vocalists, there are a lot of artists who are dancers and dope performances, performers, and there's also me who's a dancer with um, a voice that, that does not go with my height, but also, <laughs> but also I am one person with a lot of energy. So from my set particularly, expect a lot of energy, expect a lot of collaboration between me and Shafi, uh, who's going to be my co-host of the day, so I'm basically representing him as well over here. So a lot of collaboration, a lot of surprises, and things you've not seen on stage, especially with a female host before. So I hope that answers the question. Et euh, c'est dommage d'arriver dans un pays et se 
dire beaucoup avec les trois artistes. Donc euh, je pense que c'est ça en fait, c'est l'exposition. Parce que vous savez que lorsqu'on débute, on n'a pas forcément le soutien de tous les médias. Donc euh, je pense que la première étape, c'est vraiment d'avoir l'exposition. Peu importe le niveau des médias, mais on a besoin de vous. On a toujours besoin de vous pour euh, mettre notre, notre art en avant. Donc pour moi, c'est. C'est votre carte de visite en fait aujourd'hui. L'avenir de demain, c'est les artistes de demain, c'est la carte de visite du Kenya. We were saying that in, in every corner of this country, you've got a lot of artists that have potential to grow. And the difficult part is that it's not very easy when you start off as an artist. You don't get a lot of media attention. And so it's really important that at, at all levels of media, that if you really want to push Kenya forward, you know, the artists of the future, it has to start today. You know, you guys have to start pushing them. Giving them the, the, the platforms to shine, essentially. Um, my question goes to Mona. Okay, um, we saw you at the O2 Arena. Um, how was that for you, and what impact did it put to your career? Okay, before then, I used to like sing in my room and like sing for my classmates. So I was only really used to like perform for like a lot of people. So coming from Nigeria, my room. PH to like the old school, it felt really, really great to like be performing in front of like 20,000 people. Like the exposure was like, I couldn't like, I can't like even like explain it, but I'm like grateful for how far I've come. Se servent de ça un peu de, de pouvoir se nourrir de, de nous en fait. 
there's a lot of producers who are taking advantage of that, obviously, to feed themselves. Chaque artiste, il y a une étoile qui brille. La musique vient de Dieu, il faut savoir que ça vient des cieux. Donc lorsqu'on pratique la musique, il faut savoir que c'est plus qu'on pense 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 que So you have to be really solid and make sure you have people around you that can really defend your territory for you. Yeah, yeah. So I have two questions actually for you, Levi. Yeah. So uh, I mean, love seems to be a central theme in most of your work. Uh, I don't know if there's anything that inspires that. Then the second question is, outside of music, what brings you joy and fulfillment? Mis à part la musique, euh, j'aime passer du temps avec mon fils. Il a un son, donc il aime passer beaucoup de temps avec son fils. La famille, la famille c'est très important pour moi. La famille c'est très important pour moi. Je veux plutôt sport. Um, pour me maintenir. Je veux plutôt sport, c'est-à-dire je veux, je veux tout le temps, tout le temps la salle de sport. Oh, ok, c'est toujours ça. Histoire de me maintenir. Il se garde son sport. Et il euh, y a aussi une chose plus importante dans ma vie encore, c'est la spiritualité. Je suis très proche de lui. De la religion. Et la dernière chose qui est vraiment importante est la vie spirituelle. Il est très, très proche de la religion. Il prend ça au sérieux. Donc voilà. Merci pour la première question. Tu as déjà répondu à ça avant. Tu as dit que tu grew up avec l'amour. C'est pour ça que tu as fait la musique sur l'amour. Je vais vous demander une autre question. Je vais vous demander Um, first of all, this opportunity means a lot for the culture first, and um, I think for everyone as well. Everyone gets to be musically, performance, performance-wise, and I think for me the experience through the years. I've been here for a while, been doing Koroga Fest. People know, I think you know. Now that I get to do Raga Fest, I think we get to reach the broader audience. We get to you get to feel the music, you get to see the performances, you get to see something new. And I think Raga Fest will continue with the same. I don't think this is gonna be um, the last. It's gonna be it's the first, but it's not gonna be the last. I think it's very important to contribute to the culture. It's it's very important for us to always uh, give back. And it doesn't have to be through money. Uh, through the music, it, it's a universal language, and I feel we can all gain from that.